It's six in the morning. Um, listen to what it sounds like outside of my bedroom window. It's really that loud. This has been going on for an hour. So on today's vlog, I want to tell a story. And I want to tell a story for a couple reasons. The main reason being that I'm not doing anything interesting today or vlog worthy, so I need something to fill up the next five minutes. But also, this is a story I've never told before. Those are all my old photo albums up there. So this story happened in I want to say 1990, let's see, I was like 15 years old, 1997. I couldn't find my 1997 photo album, all I could find was this one. This is my mom's photo album from 1996, but it will help sort of show you what I looked like for this story. That's me at Disney World with my Nana and my little brother. Okay, that's me surfing in Maine. Ah, that is me, that's my big brother Van, that's us riding unicycles. These are non-motorized unicycles. As I get towards kind of the end of this album, there are no pictures of me. Because this was when I ran away from home. And that's what my story's about. I made a movie called Draw My Life that's like, the whole biography, uh, my whole biography. It's a really great movie, I'm super proud of it, but there's a whole scene in it that we didn't use because the movie was too long. So I want to use a piece, I'm gonna use that scene for this story. Here's what happened. First, a tiny bit of context. I was 15 years old, I had gotten in a fight with my mom, I got into a bunch of trouble at school, I ran away from home. I moved from Connecticut to Virginia where my brother Van was in college and I like got a job there. Now I wanted to go to school there, I wanted to go to high school. I was in 10th grade, I was, it was my sophomore year of high school. But in order to be in high school, you have to be a resident of the state of Virginia. In order for me to be a resident, my legal guardian had to also live in the state. The only person of legal age then was my brother Van. I was 15, he was 21. The only option we had was for him to adopt me. We scheduled a day in court and Van and I had to go literally in front of a judge, like, I don't know, like Judge Judy or whatever. And we had to petition, we had to plead our case. Now to set the stage a little bit more, we were both wearing suits that we had bought at the Salvation Army for like $5 the day before that definitely didn't fit us. On top of that, about a week prior, we thought it was a smart idea for us to bleach our hair. So we both had like really obnoxiously white hair and we're wearing cheap suits from the Salvation Army. See, Virginia, that's me. That's my brother Van. And this, this is us in court. And that's the judge. I just fixed my white balance. If all the shots before this were orange, I'm sorry. I, I fixed it though. So we pleaded our case to the judge, which was like a pretty honest, which was a pretty honest case. But I think the fact that the only reason why we were trying to do this was so I could go to school was something that she took pity on a little bit. She empathized with. So I just, I just remember her saying vividly, um, against my better instincts, I will grant this. And just like that, my brother Van, my 21 year old brother Van, adopted me and he was my legal guardian. Immediately after she like granted us the guardianship or whatever, we left the courtroom as we were supposed to do and we went outside. And this was when I was like, you know, I was a, just like a confused kid. So I was still smoking cigarettes then. And we went outside and Van was like lighting my cigarette 
And just as he was lighting my cigarette, the judge walks out of her chambers or whatever. And I just remember her like looking over at us, making eye contact as I'm like, and my new legal guardian is like, chick, chick. and she just looks at us and shakes her head. And that, that's what's going on. That's exactly what's going on here. This is the judge. That's my big brother. That's me. He's lighting my cigarette as we're on our way to the car. And she's just like, what have I done? That was sort of the story of my teenage years. So that's it. That's the whole story that I wanted to share. Um, the epilogue to that was after all of our effort and Van adopting me, I then got my girlfriend pregnant and we had to move back to Connecticut and I never got to finish high school. Um, but for that moment, there was like six months of my life where my big brother Van was my like adopted parent. Okay, hope you like that story.